Good morning, everyone. Myself, Dr. Rakesh Solanki, Assistant Professor in Department of Orthopedics and Index Medical College, Indore. Today, we are going to discuss about fracture of neck of femur. So, let us begin. Before discussing about uh, fracture of femur neck, let us know about normal anatomy of femoral neck. So, femoral neck is an area that is between this femoral head and the intertrochanteric region. This is greater trochanter, this is leather trochanter, this is intertrochanteric lying. So the area lying in between the femoral head and the intertrochanteric area is the femoral neck. This is the neck shaft angle. Normal neck shaft angle is around 125 to 135. It is slightly lower in female, giving rise to various of the femoral, this uh, neck shaft angle. Now there are few trabecular patterns in uh, anatomy of femoral head and neck. They are principal compressive group, secondary compressive group, principal tensile group, and secondary tensile group, and greater trochanter group. The presence or absence of this trabecular line indicates the stages of the osteoporosis. Now what is Watts triangle? Watts triangle is formed by primarily, primarily by primary tensile, primary compressive, and secondary compressive group of trabeculae. So this W indicates the Watts triangle. This is formed by primary compressive, secondary compressive, and primary tensile group. This is known as Watts triangle. Now the blood supply of femoral head. Blood supply kaise hoti hai? There are three major sources of blood supply to femoral head. Extracapsular arterial ring, ascending cervical branches and artery of ligamentum teres. Okay. This is extracapsular arterial ring. These are ascending cervical branches. And this is the foveolar artery or artery of ligamentum teres. Thin arteries hoti hai, head ke liye, extra capsular artery ring, ascending cervical branches ye rahi, or foveolar artery ya artery of ligamentum teres. This is branch of obturator artery. The extra capsular artery ring is formed posteriorly by a large branch of medial circumflex femoral artery and anteriorly by a branch of lateral femoral circumflex artery. Thik hai? To extra capsular artery ring jo hai, wo anteriorly banta hai Medial circumflex femoral artery ki branch se. Ye hai medial circumflex femoral artery. Iske jo branch hai, anteriorly ye banati hai, extra capsular arterial ring. While posteriorly, sorry, ye jo medial circumflex artery hai, ye anteriorly, posteriorly banati hai, anteriorly, lateral femoral circumflex artery ki branches hoti hai. The ascending cervical branch or retinacular vessels arise from the extra capsular arterial ring. These are the retinocular artery or ascending cervical branch. This arise from extracapsular arterial ring. This is your extracapsular arterial ring. And these are the retinocular arteries arising from it. Ascending cervical branch ascend over the femoral neck in anterior, posterior, medial and lateral group. The lateral vessels provide more blood supply to head and neck of femur. Their proximity to surface make them vulnerable to injury in femoral neck fractures. These are the ascending cervical branches. An ascending cervical branch gives rise to subsynovial intracapsular uh, ar capsular arterial ring. This is subsynovial intracapsular arterial ring. At the subsynovial intraarticular ring, epiphyseal arterial branches arise that enter the femoral head. These are the epiphyseal arterial group entering the femoral head. So ascending cervical branches hoti hai, medial circumflex femoral artery ki usse nikalta hai hamara subsynovial intracapsular arterial ring and it gives rise to epiphyseal arterial group ye wala jo head mein supply kar raha hai now the epiphyseal artery forms two group of vessels lateral epiphyseal arteries and inferior metaphyseal arteries 
दो ग्रुप बन जाते हैं लेटरल एपीफाइजल आर्ट्री एंड इन्फेरियर मेटाफाइजल आर्ट्री इनमें ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है लेटरल एपीफाइजल आर्टेरियल ग्रुप ये रहा दिस इज द लेटरल एपीफाइजल आर्टेरियल ग्रुप अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द सब साइनोवल इंट्राफुलर आर्टेरियल रिंग which in turn arises from the ascending cervical arteries this is important because it supplies the lateral weight bearing portion of the femoral head ye jo superior lateral portion hai femoral head ka ye weight bearing portion hota hai lateral epiphyseal arterial group isi ko supply kar raha hai isliye ye importance hai important hai this is the artery of ligamentum teres or the foveolar artery it is a branch of the obturator artery the foveolar artery hai या फिर उसे हम बोलते हैं आर्टरी टू लिगामेंटम टेरिस ये ब्रांच है ऑप्टरेटर आर्टरी ये हेड के सेंटर में एंटर होती है फिमोरल हेड में तो नाउ व्हेन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट नॉर्मल एनाटॉमी एंड ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ द फिमोरल हेड एंड नेक लेट अस कम टू अवर टॉपिक फ्रैक्चर नेक ऑफ फीमर नाउ फ्रैक्चर नेक ऑफ फीमर इज यूजुअली इंट्रा कैप्सुलर फ्रैक्चर एंड इट इज मोर कॉमन इन एल्डरली पीपल स्पेशली विद ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस it can occur in people with normal bone density with high energy trauma that is road traffic accident sometimes you can get stress fracture in that athletic people due to increased cyclical loading neck of femur fracture old age mein zyada hota hai osteoporosis ke karan osteopenia ke karan especially menopause ke paas zyada hota hai females mein even trivial fall can lead to fracture neck of femur मामूली ट्रॉमा से भी फ्रैक्चर हो सकता है अगर हाई ट्रॉमा है तो यंग पीपल में मिल सकता है नेक ऑफ फ्रिगमर फ्रैक्चर जैसे कि रोट्रेफिक एक्सीडेंट में कभी कभी आपको स्ट्रेस फ्रैक्चर मिल सकता है इंक्रीज साइक्लिकल लोडिंग के कारण जो एथलेटिक्स में ज्यादा कॉमन होता है वट आर द रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर दिस फ्रैक्चर नेक ऑफ फीमर एज वी है second it's an osteoporosis if it is found in more common in alcoholic people mechanism of injury in old age a fall with lateral rotation strain of lower limb fall producing direct blow over the trochanteric area or greater trochanter while in young individuals it is associated with high energy trauma agar old age hai to unme mamooli chot se bhi fracture hone ke chances rehte hain बट यंग इंडिविजुअल में अगर नेक फेमर फ्रैक्चर हो रहा है तो ये यूजुअली सीवियर ट्रॉमा से एसोसिएटेड होता है व्हाट आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स देयर विल बी हिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्रिवियल ट्रॉमा पेशेंट विल टिपिकली कंप्लेन ऑफ पेन एंड स्वेलिंग ओवर द ग्रोइन एंड हिप रीजन देयर विल बी टेंडरनेस ऑन एग्जामिनेशन पेशेंट विल नॉट बी एबल टू वॉक ऑन द अफेक्टेड लिम चल नहीं पाएगा पेशेंट विल नॉट बी एबल टू परफॉर्म स्ट्रेट लेग रेजिंग टेस्ट So these are the clinical feature, but as we discussed about the stress fracture, or if the fracture is undisplaced or impacted, patient can walk. Patient will be ambulatory with minimal pain. So in these cases, with patient present with limb and complaint of hip pain after trivial trauma, then you must be suspicious about fracture neck of femur that is impacted or undisplaced. on your clinical examination what will be the position of the affected limb so the affected limb will be typically held in external rotation deformity due to the muscle pull there will definitely be shortening of the affected limb patient will not be able to ambulate or straight leg raise test will be negative there can be a chymosis or bruises over the groin and the trochanteric area there will be restriction of movement or the painful range of movement of the affected hip joint these are the clinical features now how will you investigate so first investigation of choice is definitely a plain apv of the affected if uh, affected if and uh, another x ray is pelvis with both hip apv so that you can compare the normal site traction and internal rotation view of the affected hip joint is advisable it makes the picture clear cross table or frog lateral view to assess the posterior comminution you can also get ct or mri now how to classify 
So there are various uh, type of classification for fracture neck of femur. One is anatomical. According to anatomical classification, there are three types of fracture neck of femur. As indicated by these zigzag lines on this X-ray image, this is the subcapital fracture, this is trans cervical, and this is the basic cervical fracture neck of femur. Anatomical classification ke sab se teen type ke fracture hote hain. Subcapital fracture neck of femur just below this head or we can say at the junction of this head and neck head and neck ke junction pe jo fracture hota hai usse subcapital kehte hain femur neck ke beech mein beech jo fracture hota hai usse transcervical fracture kehte hain aur femur neck ke base pe jo fracture hota hai along it just touching the tip of the greater trochanter isse basic cervical kehte hain so there are three types according to anatomical classification subcapital transcervical and basic cervical now there is another classification used known as Gardens classification. Now this classification is based on the degree of displacement before reduction of fracture fragments. जब आपने fracture reduce नहीं किया है उसके पहले जो degree है displacement का उसके ऊपर based है classification. So Garden type one is incomplete fracture. As you can see here in image, आप देख पा रहे हैं गार्डन टाइप वन फ्रैक्चर नेक ऑफ फीमर है ये इनकम्प्लीट है क्योंकि फ्रैक्चर लाइन अपोजिट कॉर्टेक्स तक नहीं जा रही है और वी कैन से इट इज इम्पेक्टेड फ्रैक्चर एंड इंटेक्ट इंफीरियर नेक ट्रेबिकली दिस इज गार्डन टाइप वन दिस इज गार्डन टाइप टू नेक ऑफ फ्रैक्चर फ्रैक्चर ऑफ नेक ऑफ फीमर दिस इज कंप्लीट फ्रैक्चर द लाइन इज गोइंग फ्रॉम सुपीरियर टू इंफीरियर पोर्शन ऑफ द नेक तो नेक की कंटिन्यूटी पे कंप्लीट ब्रेक है डिस्टर्ब फ्रेगमेंट ट्रेबिकुलाई आर इन नॉर्मल अलाइनमेंट ये जो ट्रेबिकुलर पैटर्न है डिस्टर्ब फ्रेगमेंट का इट इज इन लाइन विथ नॉर्मल अलाइनमेंट ऑफ द फीमोरल हेड एंड नेक दिस इज गार्डन टाइप टू दिस इज गार्डन टाइप थ्री इट इज कंप्लीट फ्रैक्चर विथ पार्शियल डिस्प्लेसमेंट एज यू कैन सी द फ्रैक्चर इज कंप्लीटली डिस्प्लेस सॉरी कंप्लीट फ्रैक्चर बट पार्शियल डिस्प्लेसमेंट Intact posterior retinaculum and trabecular pattern of the femoral head does not line with that of the acetabulum. This is garden type three. This is garden type four fracture neck of femur. It is complete fracture with full displacement. As you can see this uh, diagrammatic representation. The fracture is complete and it's totally displaced. Now there is another classification that is uh, radiological classification. It is post reduction classification. The previous classification we discussed were before reduction, but this classification is post reduction. So fracture is classified according to Powell when you have reduced the fracture. And this is based on the inclination angle of the fracture line. This is the inclination angle of the fracture line. Or in other words, we can say the angle formed between the fracture line and this horizontal plane is known as the Powell's angle. And these fractures are classified accordingly to this Powell's angle. The fracture line is horizontal ke saath mein jo angle bana rahi hai, ye Powell's angle hota hai. Type 1 is fracture line forms 30 degree of angle from the imaginary horizontal line that is type 1. If the angle is between 30 to 50 degree, it is type 2. And if the angle is 70 degree or more, it is type 3. Now, you must remember one thing. More the angle, more the Powell's angle or the angle formed between the fracture line and the horizontal line, more unstable the fracture is. Jitna jada angle hoga, neck of femur fracture utna hi unstable hoga. Now, let us discuss about various treatment options. So, treatment depends on age of the patient. Duration of the fracture and geometrical pattern of the fracture. This is the flow chart showing the treatment options available for fracture neck of femur. So, if the fracture is garden type 1 and patient is young, that is below the 60, uh, 60 years of age, you can go for close reduction with cannulated screw fixation or osteosynthesis. But if the patient is more than 60 years of age, you have option prosthetic replacement. 
in the form of hemiototal displacement. Again, if uh, fracture is garden type 2 and patient is typically young, that is below the 60 years of age, one must perform close reduction with cancellous screw fixation. But if patient is of old age, more than 60 years of age, then uh, you have option of prosthetic replacement. If fracture is garden type 3 and patient is young, you must go for osteotomy with DHS fixation. If patient is more than 60, then prosthetic replacement is the option. And if the fracture is type 4, garden type 4, that is displaced and complete fracture, then osteotomy with a dynamic hip screw fixation if patient is young. If patient is more than 60, then go for prosthetic replacement. So this is the flow chart. Now, how to reduce or what are the close reduction techniques for fractured neck of femur? So there is technique Whitman technique. The fractured extremity is tied to the foot plate and in externally rotated position. With the external extremity externally rotated, it is abducted approximately 20 degree. Traction is applied, extremity is internally rotated until the patella is internally rotated to 20 to 30 degree. Whitman technique में आपको affected extremity को traction table पर लेने के बाद में external rotated position में लेना है and external rotation में ही आपको 20 से 30 degree abduction करना है abduction करने के बाद traction apply करना है traction apply करने के बाद में आपको वापस से internal rotate करना है और तब तक internal rotate करना है जब तक ये पटेला 20 से 30 degree internal rotation में नहीं है ये होती है Whitman technique there is another technique that is known as lead better technique. Now, Whitman technique is technique in extension. This is performed when the hip extension is performed. The lead better technique is performed while the hip is in flexion of 90 degree. Traction is applied along the long axis of the femur. Flexion karna ke baad mein, the vertical axis of the femur, you have to give traction to the thigh. You have to rotate the thigh internally, abduct the thigh. How to evaluate your reduction? So the reduction is evaluated by heel palm sign or heel palm technique. Patient's heel is placed in the palm of the surgeon's out straight hand. And if your reduction is complete, the limb does not externally rotate is spontaneously. Reduction karne ke baad mein jab patient's ke heel ko aap apne palm mein rakhenge aur chhodenge. Agar aapka reduction complete hai, to external rotation nahi hoga. Ye indicate karega ki aapka reduction complete hai. Now, what is Garden's Index? So, Garden's Index is Post-Adduction Evaluation Index on X-rays, Interposterior and Lateral Radiograph of the Hip and it is based on the trabecular pattern alignment. In AP view, the angle formed by the central axis of the medial trabecular system in the head. This is the medial trabecular system, then this is the central axis of the medial trabecular system in the head. So the angle formed between this and the medial cortex of the femoral shaft should be around 160 to 180 degree. Okay, the medial femoral trabecular system is head ka, uska central axis or a line along the medial cortex, the femoral head shaft, the medial cortex is a line. In the middle of the angle hai, uh, femoral hip ke AP view, mein, femoral head ke AP view, it should be 160 to 180 degree. Tak on lateral X-rays, major trabeculae are in the same axis as of the femoral neck or lie at an angle of 180 degree. This trabecular pattern is head ka and neck. Ka, the dono same plane mein hona chahi, around 180 degree ke lateral radiograph. Mein. If the angle, uh, angle is less than 160 degree, it denotes, denotes virus reduction. If the angle is more than 180, it denotes valgus rotation reduction. Now, to how to evaluate your uh, reduction radio radiographically? The convex outline of the head meeting the concave outline of the neck produces S curve. As you can see, this picture radiographic, uh, picturesque representation of the reduction. So, this is the convex margin of the head, what matches with the concave margin of the neck and produces the S shape. If femoral neck is tangent to head, it forms an unbroken C. That means your fracture is not reduced.
Now, how to perform close reduction? We have discussed after reducing your fracture by close method, you want needs to fix the fracture by cannulated screw. Apply a step incision over uh, three centimeter distal to greater torque enter and guide pins pass from the lateral aspect of the femur shard parallel with the neck. The screws are fixed in inverted triangle configuration. That is, uh, two screws are uh, passed superiorly, one inferiorly. The first screw that is inferior aspect of head on the inferior aspect of head to prevent neck bearers. Second screw is placed posteriorly. The third screw is placed anteriorly. So this is the first screw. The lower screws are first screw. It is passed to prevent the various collapse. The second screw is passed posteriorly and third one is anteriorly, making an inverted triangle shape. ये डायग्राम में आप जैसे देख सकते हैं एक ट्रायंगल बन रहा है दिस ट्रायंगल कैन बी नॉर्मल ट्रायंगल और इनवर्टेड ट्रायंगल व्हेन टू परफॉर्म ओपन रिडक्शन इन कैनुलेटेड स्क्रू फिक्सेशन द इंडिकेशंस फॉर ओपन रिडक्शन आर योर क्लोज रिडक्शन इज फेल्ड इफ द फ्रैक्चर इज नेग्लेक्टेड सो यू कैन चूज एनी ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड अप्रोच टू एक्सपोज योर फ्रैक्चर साइट Now, when to go for DHF, that is dynamic hip screw fixation. So, if your fracture is displaced, the patient is having osteoporotic bone or there is the communication, combination of lateral cortex of neck, then go for DHS fixation. The DHS applies compression at the fracture site, permit, permits controlled collapse, leading to progressive increase in bony contact, continuous increase in stability, and constant decrease in stress on the plate. And patient can be mobilized immediately if your reduction is good. This is the X-ray showing fixation by the dynamic hip screw. Now, when to go for hemiarthroplasty? Hemiarthroplasty is the partial replacement of your hip joint, or you can say a replacement of femoral head. The diseased head is head is replaced. Arth Hemiarthroplasty can be performed with Austin Moore prosthesis or Thompson's prosthesis or bipolar prosthesis. This is the image showing Austin Moore prosthesis. The indications are non union if patient has age is more than 60 years of age, or if there is adequate femoral calcar, you can go for Austin Moore prosthesis. This is the Thompson's prosthesis. Indications are same, but if there is inadequate femoral calcar, one must opt for Thompson prosthesis. Or if the patient is having pathological fracture with the severe osteoporosis, this is the bipolar prosthesis. The indications are same. If uh, there is non-union fracture neck of femur, the bipolar prosthesis is uh, commonly recommended for young people that is below 60 years of age. As the vestibular erosion is less as compared to unipolar hemiarthroplasty, choose bipolar artho hemiarthroplasty. Uh, you can also perform total hip arthroplasty, that is, uh, estabular component is also re uh, replaced along with the femoral head. The indications for total hip arthroplasty are pre existing estabular disease or the displaced fracture in old age. If patient is having avascular necrosis of the femoral head or the fracture is neglected for very long time, in this condition, go for total hip arthroplasty or joint replacement. Now, what are the complications of the prosthetic replacement? So, as with any complica fracture complication, there are three types of complication immediate, early, and late. The immediate complications are neurovascular injury, bleeding, and fracture of the femur. The early complications are fat embolism, deep vein thrombosis, dislocation, and infection. The late complications are thigh pain, periprosthetic loosening, periprosthetic fracture, infection, and protusio stabuli. Now, what are the complications? These, are the, these were the complications of prosthetic replacement. Now, what are the complications of fracture neck of femur itself? So, 
the fracture neck of femur is very notorious fracture as you can, it, it can go into non-union very easily because uh, at the start of the lecture, we already discussed the blood supply of the fracture uh, femoral head and neck. When the blood supply of infection neck of femur, the blood supply of head and neck it gets disrupted very easily. And uh, it, this fracture very commonly goes into non-union. Now, what are the causes of non-union in uh, non-union in fracture neck of femur? The absence of cambium layer of periosteum, fracture heals through the endosteal callus, and the diminished blood flow, the sinual fluid washes away the hematoma formation and the shearing and destruction forces. All this in combination leads to non-union of fracture neck of femur. How to treat the non-union? If the patient is young, perform McMurray's osteotomy, Powell's y osteotomy or Velgas osteotomy. And if patient is old age, that is more than 60 with severe osteoporosis, go for prosthetic replacement in the form of total hip arthroplasty. McMurray's osteotomy is oblique medial displacement intertrochanteric abduction osteotomy. The principle is converting the shearing forces into the compress uh, compressing forces. Another osteotomy is Powell's Y osteotomy. The principle of this osteotomy is vascular proximal end of the shaft displaced medially. This is vascular proximal end of the shaft. It is displaced medially to bridge non-union site. And making the angle which is uh, which were vertical fracture angle and making this angle more uh, horizontal and converting the shearing forces into the compressive forces at the fracture site. But now, Velgas osteotomy converts the mechanical loading of non-union site from shear forces into the compressive forces. Avascular necrosis is very common in grade 4 fracture. Patients with growing buttock and proximal thigh pain, bone scans can determine the healing process and cold decompression and prosthetic replacement is the treatment of choice in avascular necrosis of femoral head. Thank you very much. We are done with our today's topic.